what is up everybody it's november 3rd 2022 in the big bear lake california area and we are starting to get some accumulation here it is 1 20 in the morning i need to slow down i forgot i don't have snow tires on but we're gonna make it work that's really coming down it is really coming down What's up guys hope everyone's doing well um i love doing this for you guys this is beautiful out here hopefully we're the only ones out here right now zombie and do all this for you guys I swear I just love doing it I love it I love it no cars truly incredible don't forget Sunday you guys change your clocks back fall back an hour it's gonna be nice because I love it when we get our snowstorms and it's light at like five in the morning, or at least there's enough sunlight outside to make videos. Yeah, this is awesome sauce. Hopefully all of you are doing fantastic. I am doing great, especially because of this weather. And these heated seats, I love that. Guys, you can see it's the, that, that orange thing right there, that orange light that's on. I got it on high power right now. High freaking power. Well, here's the village. We'll come back to the village when we when we uh, get back. But this is truly awesome. I gotta keep remembering that I do not have snow tires, so I need to be extra cautious. So we are heading towards the part of town that typically gets the most snow, which is over by the Big Bear Dam, like Boulder Bay, Papoose Bay. That side of town gets a good amount of snow. Wow, this is awesome. This vehicle is freaking awesome. I can't believe this is my car. Like, I, I really can't. It, it really feels like a very, very, like even super, just a nicer luxury car than it already is. Subaru, I'm really, I'm really, really impressed with you. You guys have done a marvelous job. I'm gonna turn this up again a little bit more to So my brights just turned off all by themselves because of the street light. Watch them turn on once again once we pass this light. Let's see. It's a pretty cool feature. 
especially with oncoming traffic. Well, they didn't turn back on yet, I don't think. Let's see. Yes, they did. So when there's no one on the road, guys, I stay as close to the to the center, even a little bit on the center line, a little bit. Just in case any animals run out, it gives you a little room to, you know, try to do something about it. You gotta be as, as cautious as possible. And that's coming from somebody who rear-ended somebody a couple days ago when they were completely stopped and trying to make a left-hand turn. on all the time when it's snowing so you guys can see it better see how hard it's actually coming down and it's coming down pretty good right now this is a steady snowfall I'm digging it for sure by far the heaviest snow we've had since this new season has begun I'm keeping my eyes on the road. Jeez. I turn, the lights turn also. They turn ahead of the turn, which is just so cool. Wow, so cool. This is literally the nicest Subaru that Subaru makes. 
when it comes to these kind of Subarus like this and the Forester and the Crosstrek. This is the Outback Touring XT. And the T stands for turbo. I, if it doesn't, this does have a turbo. So it's incredibly fast too. Like I was, I'm not gonna punch it yet, but just barely getting on the gas, you can feel it. But I wonder when the turbo kicks in. I'm really looking forward to, to trying that out. So yeah, we are almost to the Big Bear Dam. You can see the snow's a little bit deeper on the roads over here. time to do a video or really early in the morning once it barely starts getting light outside I love it when those are the times when I have to make videos because there's really no one on the road and it's just so peaceful and so beautiful we, we got issued a winter weather advisory about an hour ago so there's a chance that this area could get three inches or so I don't see that happening but I'm very optimistic Of, it's, it's set above a, a 6,000 feet, maybe three to five inches, and then for some reason the winter weather advisory changed shortly after that to say above 8,000 feet, you could see that on the peaks. But we could see one to three inches. This car though, this car though. I don't really know how to choke this car. I mean seriously, that was my first car accident in 42 years and, and there wasn't even, well, in, let's see, 26 years of driving or something like that. So we are approaching the dam right now. here just just out of town and then turn around spot a turnout and then just uh, start heading back gosh like if we had my other car I'd be trying to get loose a little bit and whatnot but that car will be fixed and we will be having some more fun in that Subaru so not too worried about it this is gonna be my my luxury snow vehicle <laughs> see that's why I didn't want to do the windshield wipers even though it cleared up the windshield a bunch, huh? Oh, it's so cool. It is so cool. The current time is actually a little, uh, it's, it's almost 1.30. <laughs> So as I said, when we get back into Big Bear Lake area, we're going to uh, go through the village, do a quick run by Snow Summit, since it's a little higher in elevation and it's right up against the mountain, obviously. It is the mountain. Uh, we'll probably see some good snow up there. And then, as I said, I'm gonna have to take 45 minutes to an hour to upload the video, because I have to patch all these videos together, and then it takes forever to upload them to YouTube in 4K. But it's okay, I love doing it for you guys. My eyes are 
on the road. This thing keeps on telling me to keep my eyes on the road, but my eyes aren't on the road. Oh, maybe because my hand's blocking the the eye, the camera that is reading my eyes. space on either side to slide to. I hope none of you do lose control, but it does happen. Luckily for me, I've, uh, I've been very, very fortunate, especially with my snow tires. I'm telling you, the snow tires make a humongous difference. The lake is just to the left. I wonder if I, if I, can you guys see it? No, you guys can't really see it though. Maybe if I get like a GPS thing to just sit right here on the dash, where I can kind of have it being viewed the whole time. I, I know there's a way where I can have this GPS thing, uh, combined into a video that I upload for you guys. Maybe have it in one of the you know bottom corner so it's there on a permanent basis. I think that would be pretty cool. I just gotta figure out how to do it. I, I know a lot of you have suggested that to me. And I will take any suggestion that makes our channel better. I want to do the best I can for you guys. But anyway this is the route that most of you travel through. This is how you come into Big Bear most of you. So I just want you to see that it's it's not too shabby. You shouldn't be struggling too much here. But remember, take it easy, take it slow. It's not worth any any pain. <laughs> speaking of pain, my back's a little a little hurting from that accident. I can't believe I crashed my my other Subaru. That's insane. It's still surreal. They're, so they're, they're finally picking it up tomorrow morning. They're supposed to pick it up today. So I think in a video earlier, I said they picked up my Subaru to take it to get fixed. But after four hours went by when, when, when they were supposed to be here, I, I called them and they said, well, we are very, very sorry. Your insurance company just sends those, those texts out saying that we'll be there in like 45 minutes, but we were so busy today. Um, we will definitely be there tomorrow. So thankfully I wasn't sitting on the side of the road. But it was super cool about it, so I'm all good. I'm keeping my eyes on the road. My goodness. Okay, my seat's a little warm now. So like, this is how I turn it off or turn it down. When I'm looking at the road, don't worry.
the lane departure thing works when uh, there's there's no lanes. I mean, there's obviously the lanes, but when the snow's covering them. Let's see. Let's see if I merge over here, if it'll say. No, it doesn't. Nothing. So the snow's easing up a little bit. time I hear that I'm gonna put, put the phone on it real quick so, so you can actually have time to see what it says after it goes beep 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 it's gonna happen in like two seconds because of where my arm is I think I promise you guys I'm staring straight ahead snow flurries actually it's 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 more than snow flurries it's still a very light snow now but it's more than snow flurries this little part of this road is is always dangerous for some reason i i see people always hitting this curb right here sliding into these curves and then pinballing to the other side of the road so just be guys be, be really careful you guys are very important to me and i know you guys all have a bunch of people who love you so much all right so we're gonna go through the village the villages floors lonely as hotel. the biggest room in this hotel on the left on our YouTube channel because I stayed there for three nights it's one of the corner rooms on the second floor right there and uh, it was huge it was like 1200 square feet or something every time I stay at one of these places I do it for, for our channel and I stay in their their most luxurious amenities that's a nice place I haven't stayed there yet but we're going to some of these places I can only stay for like one night though because they're so expensive. As I said, because I'm obsessive compulsive, so I, since I've done most of my videos already with the biggest rooms at the hotels I've stayed at in Big Bear, like their biggest suites and stuff like that, I just have to continue doing that no matter what it costs me. Wow, it just feels like Christmas, it's so nice. I know why my brights weren't turning off by themselves because I didn't have my system on auto. Now it's on auto, so if a car comes our way, well, they turned off by themselves already. They're on right now, and uh, or at least the lever is in the on position. feature at the top where it says what street we're on now it's showing our fuel consumption and the angle of the road the steepness of the road just that's incredible I mean that is incredible it's right there where it says minus two degrees 
There's also some, you, you know what? Uh, we'll just go right. I was going to go to the post office real quick, but we'll do that tomorrow. So I'm just going to turn them on myself. I'm going to turn it off auto. sometimes but I'm completely comfortable I don't want you guys to be worried about anything about me completely comfortable and as I said we're gonna go up to Snow Summit we're gonna go in through the back entrance which is technically technically the exit of Snow Summit and for that you gotta turn right when you get to Carl's Jr. I don't know why I'm spacing the name of that street but that's what we gotta do and here we go What's the street? Thrush. T H R U S H. So we just continue taking this up another couple hundred feet in elevation and then another quarter mile in length in distance to get up here maybe a little more than a quarter mile but that's it and then we'll be at snow summit the condos next to Snow Summit. I gotta uh, put my Zen in real quickly. Let me get that out of the pocket. Let me get it out of the pocket. Alright. That's is good. That's is good. Last night there were a bunch of employees here late. I don't know if it was kind of like some some, some sort of an orientation or not, but you know we will go up here. Usually they have the lights on over here, so I don't know why why they don't. And it doesn't look like they're making snow. I could have sworn they're making snow because I could hear it at my house. I live right at the bottom of the mountain here, so you can you can hear it. Try it's really loud. It's a really loud, really great white noise though, because it, it, it'll put you to sleep. So I really enjoy it. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see any of the machines on. I wonder why that is. I thought they would take full advantage of these freezing temperatures to get our snowpack 
as deep as possible before opening day. And I don't know when opening day is gonna be, you guys. I don't even think they do. But seriously, once again, this Subaru is incredible. The suspension, I mean, this really feels like, and it just, I had a, uh, back in 2004, I got, I, I bought a 500 Mercedes, a brand new ML 500, the SUV, brand new from Fletcher Jones Motor Cars in Newport, which is where I'm from. And uh, <laughs> the payment wasn't much more than this, but um, yeah, this, this feels just as luxurious. Like I'm really surprised. Night and day compared to my Crosstrek. Night and day, and I love my Crosstrek. You, you, you guys know that Crosstrek has gotten me through so much. I absolutely adore that thing, and it is such an incredible vehicle. But this thing's even that much better than the Crosstrek. I can't believe it. Okay. We're on Brownie Lane. This runs parallel with Big Bear Boulevard. 7-Eleven's right here to the left. This is the 7-Eleven with the gas station over here on the corner of Big Bear Boulevard and Summit Boulevard. And this is right behind it. There's a humongous, a humongous uh, satellite parking lot for Snow Summit Ski Resort to the left here. Starts right here and it's humongous. And I'll tell you what, I've seen every one of our satellite lots completely full here. Completely full. That's where we go do donuts a lot, guys. So let's check something out, huh? How about we check something out? Check out the, because I have my regular phone that I use all the time. We're just gonna check out what the radar shows us right now. So you guys can see. Hopefully, hopefully we won't get in any trouble doing that. Look, this is what this is showing right now. We're not really, okay, there we go. Right now, uh, let's check out the map, the radar. So yeah, it's right on top of us. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect. I wonder if I'm able to see that or some sort of weather on my phone here through, through this through this thing. How cool would that be? Wouldn't that be awesome sauce, you guys? So anyway. I figure we'll we'll head up to Bear Mountain real quick and then we'll be done. I'm turning off all the heat in the car because it's way too hot. Usually we'll get insane winds right before these storms hit. And we did a little bit. I was worried about my car because I live underneath a bunch of pine trees. And the top of my other Subaru, you guys, my gosh, it's got just so many little dents. So many. But hey, small price to pay to live in a beautiful place. And that car I paid for some, oh, look at, Look at that snow from that light right there. Look at that. How cool is that? 
There's no one behind us, so don't worry, guys. Wow, that is so cool. Yeah, I paid for, I think it was like 10 extra bucks a month or 11 bucks a month for the term of my other Subaru, which I paid through it. Um, I could get all my dings fixed and scratches fixed. I think that included if I had a broken windshield, they would fix it. And funny enough, I forgot about that when my when my windshield broke a month and a half ago on the other car. I, I forgot about that and I paid Safe Light to fix my windshield. Oh, now I'm kicking myself in the butt because that's a lot of money. I wonder if I could take my repair order to Subaru and see if, if they'll reimburse me. What do you guys think? Wow, it's coming down. So glad we came over here because it's really coming down. We're gonna have to heat up the windshield again. anyone's wondering we haven't lost any control at all no sliding no slipping nothing like that and that's without snow tires so thank you Subaru Cool. It looks like a spaceship when it's on, but for right now, this is great. Okay, we're getting some big, big sleep pellets. I mean, big balls falling from the sky. <laughs> it's some big balls falling from the sky. Some big balls falling from the sky. Quite a bit in elevation, temperature is now in the 20s. I just wish it was just all big snowflakes, but I'll take this. something crazy the whole time I've lived up here I've never used tire chains at all ever and I suggest everybody does I really do I know I'm a bad example when it comes to that but I typically put snow tires on at least the past few years when I was able to put money towards them and I didn't realize how much of a difference it would make but they make a huge difference Hello, 
love seeing these lights or the bright sky when it snows up here. It's so cool. At nighttime, the, these, these lights down here in town, they reflect a lot into the clouds and snow. It's just so beautiful. Anyway, we're almost done with the vid, guys. Almost done with the video. And then I might, uh, I'm gonna set my alarm for just a couple hours because it's supposed to let up for a little bit for maybe two, two and a half hours and then really come down again. The heaviest part maybe, unless we just went through uh, something as significant or maybe a little bit more might be coming through about 4.30, 5.30 in the morning. If that's the case, you know I'll be out here, guys. You know I will. So cool. So this this little light right here, it's really showing off the snow, and it's it's beautiful. It's like a, I don't know. It's just it's beautiful. Says driver monitoring system disabled. Why is that? Is it because it got super annoyed with me? Let me try to figure that out, guys. While we're, I'm gonna pull over so we can do that safely. All right, so let's see. Just hang tight for a second, guys. Maybe you can watch me do this here. Let's see here. Hit that. Uh, driving assistance. Maybe I gotta shut the car off real quickly. Let's see. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna stop the video and start a new one. Hang on. Okay. Well, check out the headlights when I when I start my car. Watch this. Watch how cool this is. driving monitoring system I think that's the little that, that red light up there is staring at me all the time staring at my eyes I'm not sure though I'm not sure Let me, I'm gonna try and block block it so it'll tell me to Keep my eyes on the road. I hope I don't like break something. I don't know why it would just shut off like that. We'll see. Yes, thank you. It came back. Thank goodness. All right, guys. Well, that's it for right now. It's November 3rd, 2022 in the Big Bear Lake, California area. And we are getting beat down right now. Obviously, it could be a lot heavier, but this is pretty darn heavy for our area. So I'm very excited about it. I wanted to say I love you guys a lot. Thank you for the support. I can't thank you enough. We have a great time together. Thanks for all the nice comments, too. Talk to you later. Bye. Yeet.